steps and he just chill and he just laugh. I can see that. <laughs> Zenyatta, no, that, that's throwing me for a loop. That's that boy, my that boy never stopped camping. I'm, I'm saying I, he, he he really like throwing the rock, man. It is. Bowling balls, uh, orbs. He like he don't care. He's throwing he the rock. So man, we got to get right into it. We got uh, Kirihara versus Hyuga. All right, so Kirihara from Japan right here with the Rosa Luma, and then Hyuga coming in from <coughs> Mexico. Man, he cool, man. Man, he cool. El Santo himself. We'll see how he uh, ends up dealing with this matchup now. I feel like this matchup could be a little difficult for him as well. Uh, you know, gravitational pull might uh, mess up his uh, usual approach. And on top of that, gravitational pull circling around. Right. So if he tries to go for like the turn, uh, like the run behind, turn around, bomb throw more than not, that bomb might come around full circle and hit him. Yeah. And so Kiri Hara not, is one not the not the end of the world, but yeah. Yeah. Kiri Hara for uh, a lot of you might be one of the lesser known Japanese players, but he is a phenomenal player, no doubt about it. Uh, and it, you know, so very solid Rosalina all around. And the interesting thing about this is I got to give a shout out to Nairo because I believe he was on the Nairo Fund uh, when he was running that big donation campaign to get a couple of the Japanese out here too. I think he was one of the ones who was uh, aided by that. So big yeah, shout out to Nairo. Yeah, Nairo came through and got like 18 Japanese yeah, players out here, man. man dog. Well, my man Nairo is basically immigration. He's like, oh, you need to come through. I got you. <laughs> I stamp your passport. There <laughs> it is, man. That's all you need sometimes. Ooh, okay. Oh, oh that's going to be it. Okay. Yes, yes. You know, honestly, I bet you Hugo was expecting him to wait for the air dodge, so he didn't give it to him, and he was like, I'm not going to wait. Nah, man. So he, and he spaced that perfectly, too. He got him with uh, the first hit was with Rosa, and then he moved her back just so that Luma can get that second up here, taking that stock, looking for the Z-drop. And he actually Z-dropped without uh, pulling out the uh, tether. The link, I, uh, the, the chain? Yeah, there, there's a certain way you can Z-drop uh, with two link without uh, bringing out the tether. I forgot exactly uh, the method. I know someone on Twitter is going to uh, go ahead and hit me up with that, so thank you. So, you know, <laughs> in advance. That advance, yeah. thank you, man. We appreciate you. All right, I appreciate this good gameplay here from Hugo, who's really just been, been tearing things up since he's been in the, you know, coming to all these U.S. tournaments. Look at Midwest Mayhem, got second place there. CEO, top aiding. Man, has definitely been on a war path. But again, even though you haven't seen too much of Kimi Hara, he is still a fantastic player. Definitely one of the real problems is, uh, Tunic, I feel like Tunic doesn't have like a, a very, like a great move for immediately eliminating Luma. Yeah. That's not going to put him in danger either. Like, you know, you could run up and probably try to get like a clean four there and then jump out of that. But like, I still think you're probably going to get up smash for it, you know, or something of the sort. Because uh, up till he up till the Luma twice didn't even budge. Uh, you know, you F smash, you're going to be sitting there with lag. And I think down smash has a decent amount of lag too. So uh, you know, his best bet might actually be four airing. Uh, but we'll see. Okay, or just doing damage to Luma as yeah, she's standing there, you know. Eating them hits, young bodyguard. Just trying to rack it up. Ooh. That bomb was there forever. It really was. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. That extended life. I'm saying he got that extended fuse on that boy. That's, that's that uh, custom bomb. All right. Okay. Fish Freddy's back air right here. And. Please, please. All right. Oh, oh that's. Uh, <laughs> he like he, he no was like, uh, like what, you, what you mean, dog? That was game one. I said that was game one. He's like, yeah, I'm not really about all these uh, about all this dapping now. <laughs> honestly, though, I'm 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 with him. Someone someone extended that me uh, after game one. Hey, put that away, man. Put Wait till the set's man. over, man. I'm not done just yet. But, hey, man, good game. Put that out of here <laughs> with that at all. So yeah, man. Anyway, <laughs> anyway, man. We're just gonna go ahead and keep it moving. Uh, Hugo. Managed to, managed to take that game, so good stuff to him. Right? Yeah, absolutely, dude. You know, it, he, he ended up losing that stock pretty early with that double up tilt, and then after that he was like, hold up, hold up, hold up. Let me just buckle down and get get back with it. Yeah, that's one of those things, like, it, it's funny to me, like, because uh, we see it, you know, a couple times. Uh, you know, you just get picked up by a sponsor. You put even more pressure on yourself. But, you know, Hugo is just, I feel like he's just always going to be the same solid, consistent player that we've just grown to know, uh, especially over this last, this last year for sure. Okay. So up to him clutching it out as we head to game two back to Smashville. Ooh, Ooh. I love that footstool set him up for the down air. I always love footstool sets, man. I don't even care if it's, it's super impractical or you don't get nothing off it. Like, if you just happen to, like, up air the footstool and you're like, all right, what you going to do with that? Nothing. I just, but I just want you to know it was there. The fact that you the fact that you confirmed it is good enough for me. There we go. Oh, fighting his way back to stage. I like that. And using the Spider-Man uh, tether right there to get back to stage even faster. Not going to let himself just kind of drop down. You can do such a good job right here. Um, you know, I'm still making his projectiles a viable threat to Kirihara. Let's go. Yeah, he gets caught up right there. 
Oh, jokes. Man, no Rosalina on the stage, but yeah, oh, there she comes right on time. Okay, man, let's make it back again. Oh, there's a good wait now. That's the first time he done, he's done that this set. Uh, so, you know, that's one of those one trick. I won't say it's one trick pony things, but it's definitely one of those uh, oh, yeah, one uh, coupon for one stock, basically. There you go. Like, all right, man, uh, this man's going to air down to the ground right here because I hit him so many forward airs. Like, let me just go <laughs> ahead and uh, cash in his coupon of F Smash. It was good. Getting out the situation. There's an up smash, but... Oh, look for the, the grab. Yeah, that's going to be it. Yeah, and that's a problem right there. Two Link not able to connect that grab. Pretty hard right there. Get the solid punish. Ooh, whistle again, but no punish. Oh, wow. Makes him pay off his own bomb's explosion. Huh? Okay, up till. Nice. There's the up here. Yeah. Sneaking in there. Schools. that. Oh, wow. Oh, no. Whoa, Ooh. you know what? What a good guy. What a good guy. No, 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 he, he was going to make it back. He's going to be able I know, to get I know, but he was just like, I'm not, gonna, I'm not even going to give you the opportunity to think that you were going to die off an SD. I'm taking that one, man. For a quick second, I thought he was actually going to like wait until they got close to the edge and probably go for the down air. That, me, knowing me, that would have been what I would have done. I probably would have missed. I probably would have got punished for it. Right. And that's why I'm sitting here on commentary. Anyway, man. <laughs> what's going on, man? You're back with the Black Plague Evo. Evo you can't really see it, but like, man. there's a little M ending right here. Yeah, Evo. Championships, man. Cha championship, man. You in it. They got it right up there. <laughs> hey, they got it right they got here. It right championship, there. but the championship. That guy kept his job. Yeah, that guy. That guy kept his job. Whoever, wh whoever, this coming out, someone's check. That, <laughs> they was, he looked at, Mr. Wizard looked at it and looked at him and just said, you know the deal. <laughs> so, anyway, man, yeah, we're going to get into some more matches. we got DJ Jack ste uh, stepping up to play against Nairo. Nairo. And Nairo. Shouts to Gunblade one more time. Gunblade. Uh, but, yeah, man, Nairo going to go ahead and step up with the ZSS. DJ Jack most likely going to play uh, Ryu. That's been his main for quite some time. So He's been jamming it, man. Yeah, definitely been jamming it, man. Like uh, one of the rising players up in the Florida area. I mean, he's always he's always been pretty good at most of the Smash games he's played. You know, he was DJ Architect back in the uh, Brawl days. Brawl I think days, he had yeah, a man. Falco and a Diddy. He was a good Falco. Yeah, really yeah. Was. And then, you know, uh, now he's over here. I know he played Diddy in this game for a while, but man, he started playing Ryu. Ryu. I hear it. I think I just heard Corrin, too. I don't know if he's actually going to play Corrin, though. Maybe that's his counter pick for uh, Ryu's. Although, I feel like I feel like ZSS does decent. And I only say that because I know she has a lot of two, twos and fuse hits, but she also has really good spacing on her hits. So, like, even if, like, he gets um, focus, you know, his attacks get focused, if he spaces it correctly, he should